God bless you viewers for having time to listen to your host pastor Koju Asare. In fact, uh, I'm really privileged to have you on this line. This is your YouTube channel Ashtown TV and you can also watch us on all our Facebook channels and God will bless you. Every Wednesday make sure you are in touch and your life will never be the same. This is the unshaking life. The unshaking life is very crucial and you are going to meet unshaking life every Wednesday. A life that is established, permanent. A life with glory and power. God bless you and your life will never be the same. We, this morning, we are going to position ourselves on the topic called faith, which is very crucial to mankind, even to God. Let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you. We bless you for how far you brought us. Let today be a blessed day. Let today be a strength. Let today be an understandable day that you have given unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to talk about faith. But there's one thing I want you to understand. Paul said in Corinthians that there are three things in life that remains. And when we talk about something being remaining on the ground, it is very good. Which means other things have gone. And the only thing that remains is that. And Paul said, faith love and hope is the only three things that remains and they are very powerful if you don't understand these things as a christian you miss it in life and i want to talk about these three things in a, just a second for you to know that you need them love faith hope when we bring it to literal sense love is like yesterday faith is like today and hope is like tomorrow love can never happen today and love can never go through tomorrow. So is hope. You can't hope yesterday. And you can't hope today. We hope tomorrow. So you get to understand, if somebody tells you he loves you today as it is, that is why when a man meets a woman and says, I love you, the woman will not accept it. He has to go home and think about it. The thing, the words have to be an old issue. It is about heart issue. It is about mind bubbling. You have to consider and understand. So love is very powerful. It is an issue that deals with the system of the past. Without the past, you can't do it. Christ died for us, not on the basis of what, who we were. It was an issue that has already been planned. But this is what is very crucial. Faith is today. And I need faith to work in my life today. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is yet to come. And even that tomorrow will become today. So faith is very crucial for every Christian. And Hebrews chapter 11 tells us, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, which means today must be crucial. We saw things yesterday and we are drawing things from tomorrow to make our day the best day. And how can it be so? We can only understand faith on this basis, the parables of Christ. The parables of the kingdom cannot be understood without we understanding faith. Faith is a parable. Faith is a parable. It is not always understood by co common people. It will never be understood by the illiterate. It is always understood by people with understanding, people with knowledge, people with a move of understanding to things of God. Faith is very crucial. Faith is very important. And faith is parable. And this is how Jesus described his parable. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 13 that the kingdom of God is like a farmer who went to sow seed. Some fell onto the wayside ground, some fell onto the rocky ground, some fell onto the thorny ground, and some fell onto a good soil. And that is faith. Faith starts with the heart. How positioned your heart is, is how faith will work. We are all in church, listening to one word of God, but somebody will be blessed. The other person will not know what to do. Somebody will be healed, the other person will go empty. Why? It is about the differences of the heart. How do you believe the word of God? The seed is the word of God. So faith starts with somebody delivering a word and a heart receiving. So where there is no heart, faith cannot go. And where there is no a word, faith cannot go. So Romans chapter 10 says, how can they believe if no one has been sent? So anytime there is the word that has a confidence in it, it is always looking for a heart to believe. 
If the heart is not around, the faith cannot work. But unfortunately, we go to church and leave our heart home. Unfortunately, we read the Bible and read our heart home. We are, we are suppressed, we are depressed, that the only thing we do is we use our mind to think through the word of God. The word of God needs your heart. Your heart is the land. When your land is fertile, when you have peace, when you have sound mind, every word of God upon your life will be effective. The next parable Jesus talked about, and that is what is going to teach us the three things Paul said they remain. A farmer went to sow good seed. And when they went to sleep, another person came to sow weeds. When they came out and saw, they told the master, Master, help us to uproot it. The master said, leave it and let it be as it is. The second parable is teaching us how you can understand love, faith, and hope. Because the second parable is eternal, judgment day. That is why, because of the judgment day, that is why Christ said, leave it for us to allow it to the end. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is the judgment day is yet to come. It's a hope issue that we are all hoping for. So anything that happens, we are hoping for what Christ will come to do. But the point is, when we sowed the seed, what did we do? And this is what I want you to know. If faith is destroyed, you wait for hope. If faith is destroyed, you wait for hope because faith is today. So if your today is destroyed, you must wait for tomorrow. If your today is destroyed, you must wait for the next five years. If you can control your education and we sack you, we, we dismiss you from school, you must wait for the following year before you buy another forms. Don't allow your today to be destroyed. Don't allow your beliefs to be destroyed. Don't allow the trust you have in today that it will be well be destroyed. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. So why are you bothering yourself? Christ has come to die for us. Everything about Christ is a love. That is why he did it before we believe. So faith draws strength from love and produce into hope tomorrow. So it is faith that will let your tomorrow become better. And if you don't present yourself well in today, if you don't lay down principles and lay down better orders, how can you see a better tomorrow? If you don't earn any money today, how can you get something tomorrow? If you don't put money into the, your bank account, how can you draw money tomorrow? So hope is nothing when faith is not around. Let faith work for you today. Another parable I love so much is the master seed. Was the master seed was a small seed. When it was sown, it became so big. Let me tell you one thing. When you sow maize, bears can take it from the ground. When you sow rice, bears will eat it. But when it gets time to grow, you get to understand they rather become a home for the best. They rather become a home for all the animals. When you can grow your faith, your tomorrow shall be better. But if you can't grow your faith today, your tomorrow will be destroyed. Somebody will take it out. Somebody will steal you out. Be strong today. Believe God today. Trust God today. Let it work for you today. What is your problem now that you think it will not work? If your today is not right, your tomorrow can never be right. That is why you have lost hope. The reason why you have lost hope is you don't believe the things you are doing. You don't believe the church you are going. You don't believe the man of God. You don't believe the worship of God. You don't believe the confidence. You don't believe the things Christ did. And that is a love. We draw strength from love. Make sure your faith works for you. There was a parable that I love so much. And the parable of the yeast. A woman fixed up the dough. Place in yeast, small as it is. Tomorrow came. Hope came. And the next thing we saw, a big as it is. Believe today and your tomorrow will be big. Believe right now, your tomorrow will be big. I don't know, but I believe you are looking for healing. Believe it today and it will never come. The sickness will never come tomorrow. Believe today and tomorrow you will see healing. Believe today and tomorrow you will be rich. Believe today, work today. Act today. Show a seed. Talk to yourself. Say Jesus is Lord. Say I am more than a conqueror. Say no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Say something. Don't say wrong words. Wrong words are not faith. Today is not wrong. That is why today came. That is why yesterday is gone. Everything about yesterday is gone. Don't talk about it. Even if it was a, a success, don't talk about it. Believe another better success. Let it work for your life. I want to challenge you. What are you believing for? Are you believing for sickness or poverty? No one wants sickness and poverty. But why still don't we believe that it is well with our soul? I want to challenge you. There are many parables you can think about. Take your own parable. How small your family was. 
see it to be big like the master said how sick you were yesterday see it being healed today i want to challenge you your life will never be the same this is some shaking life i'm telling you we want to build a life that it will never be shaken anymore. You'll be established in finance, in your economics, in your social mandate, in all manner of life. You will be strong. Follow us on our YouTube channel, Ashtown TV, and all our Facebook channels. I challenge you on Wednesday's evening. Your life will never be the same. This is on shaking life. I am Reverend Kwaju Asari, Sunshine City Temple International, Kwada Sushum, Oposito Pokunti. Come. And see the power of God. Come and see faith. Come and see healing. Come and see prophecy. Come and see the power of the Most High God. Your life will never be the same. God bless you. Have time and let it be a blessing. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for grace and honor. We thank you for your word. Let it be as it is in Jesus' name. Amen.